Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to be inspired to make a blingy piece like this, then please keep watching. Okay, so for today's piece, it's going to be all about the bling. And I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to be using everything that I have on my table. So I won't go through it with you right now. I will leave a complete list of everything that I end up using in my description box below and I will point it out as I'm using it. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is put a base coat of white on my canvas. This is just Craft Smart. And I mentioned this a few videos ago. I've been finding that I like to put a base coat of white on my canvas before I put my main color on. Okay, and now I'm going to let that completely dry. Okay, so the base coat of white is all dry and now I'm going to put on my silver and I'm using Craftsmart silver. This is a pretty big jug. Um, you can get this in smaller bottles. Okay, and I'm using the same brush. Way too much paint on here. This paint is fairly thin. Okay, I'm going to let that completely dry, put on a couple more coats, and then I'll bring you back. And I'm going to start in the middle with a design. Now my canvas is 24 inches. So I'm going to come down 10 inches and make a mark. I'm going to come up 10 inches and make a mark. And then that will leave me four inches in the center. Okay, and now I have these rhinestone stickers. I got these from my local Dollarama, and it's similar to the rhinestone ribbon wrap that I've used before in my videos that I get from Amazon. This doesn't have a self-adhesive backing, but these do. They're a sticker. I've had these for a while now, so I'm going to use those. And where my mark is, I'm going to place my rhinestone ribbon wrap, but I want it to wrap around the side of my frame as well. Now what I should have done was measure on this side as well for my 10 inches and down here. And then that way, when I come over with my ribbon wrap, it's going to be straight across, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to do the same here. See, and then it's wrapped around my canvas. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Elmer's clear glue and I'm going to make kind of a lacy effect in between my two rows of ribbon wrap. I've done this with another piece, but this time I'm going to add a whole bunch of different glitters inside my little spaces. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. I'm just kind of going in the center here with my Elmer's glue. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just kind of making 
a design for myself. Okay, and now I have some Peacock Extra Fine Recollections Glitter. Okay, so I decided to let the glue completely dry so I can brush off this glitter and then that way I can complete my center portion of my canvas and continue with the bottom and the top. And then the only other thing that I'm going to have left to do at the very end is my sides. So I'm just going to brush this glitter off and this peacock blue glitter is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so for the center here, I've got a bunch of glitters and a couple of other things here. I've got a chunky silver glitter. I picked this up from Michael's. It was only $5 for this big jug. I've got some extra fine silver recollections. And this is called Peacock, and it's a specialty glitter recollections. It's really, really pretty. And I have these peacock blue sequins. I think I picked these up from Michael's quite some time ago, and I thought I would utilize some of those in this piece today. And I have my clear crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michael's, and I just get it in these little jugs here. So what I want to do is kind of evenly distribute all of this bling across the center here. Okay, so these sequins come in three little bags and they're different size. They're small, medium, and large. And I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to use the large ones. I'm going to mix the small and the medium together. Isn't that a pretty color? So this is going to be very, very organic. So I think I'm going to start with this one here. A small little craft brush here. And I'm going to push it up as close as I can possibly get it to the, the outline of glitter. I think I need even a smaller craft brush here, a more pointy one here. And then I'm going to take my sequins. Just going to put a little piece of cardboard here. This is my large chunky silver. And 
and I'm not worried about my sides. I'm going to do my sides last because I'm going to have a lot of um, stripes of glitter going across this way. And then when I do my sides, I can just prop my canvas up and do all of the side at once. I'm just going to continue now with my chunky silver. Maybe here. Here. And it's okay if there's a little spillover into the other little spaces, but I want to avoid it as much as possible. So just putting this little uh, piece of cardboard kind of covers it up for me. And I'll just take a clean brush here and kind of brush some out of these little holes here, these little spaces. Okay, and then I'm going to take my crushed filler glass. Okay, and then I'm going to take my extra fine peacock again. Okay, so now I'm going to take my extra fine silver recollections. Okay, so now I have this peacock. It's a specialty glitter, Recollections. There's a little bit more green in this than the blue, but I think it's going to give it a really nice contrast. So I'm going to finish the center with this. Oop, it's really coming out fast here. Fast and furious. Okay, so now the center is finished and I can continue working down and up my canvas. Okay, so this is looking fantastic. These colors are so, so beautiful. And this would actually look good just the way it is, but I'm going to continue on. And initially, I was going to do the mirror image from the bottom to the top. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go heavier with my glitters on the bottom and then start lightening up as I go up top. And the first thing that I want to do is put on some more sequins because they're the darkest that I have. And I'm going to come up. I need to measure this so that I have a nice straight line. I think I'm going to come up, I'm going to come up three quarters of an inch, I think. So I'm going to put a mark there, here in the middle, and then on this end. Then I'm 
going to come up a full inch. I want an inch of the sequins on this line here. Okay, and then I'm going to take some painter's tape. There's my mark there. This mark. And do the same with this mark here. Now I'm going to be pulling this tape off here pretty quick, so I'm not going to bring it around my edges. Okay, and then I've got my Elmer's glue again. And I have the same craft brush, but I did wash it. If I'm doing a project like this that takes a little bit longer to do, I will wash my craft brushes in between, if I'm, especially if I'm using glue. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the tape. This is going to give me a nice straight line of glue. Okay, and then I'm going to take my sequins again. Then I'm going to take my peacock. And I'm just going to press these down ever so lightly so that I can get most of these sequins stuck in my glue here. I don't wanna press down too um, hard because the glue will just squish out. Okay, so now I think I want to do a band of my crushed glass and my peacock extra fine glitter. And the same thing, I need to keep measuring so that my lines across my canvas are as straight as possible. But this time, because of my sequins down here, I have to measure from this center part. Okay, and then again, I need to take my painter's tape. And what I'm going to do because of my sequins here. Just going to lightly place my painter's tape. And just press it down right here, not where it is over top of my sequins. And I'm going to, because I'm going to be pulling it off right away here. Okay, and then I think I want my crushed glass and glitter to be about an inch and a half. So again, I'm measuring and I'm marking. Okay, and then I'm going to take my tape off again. You can see it took off that, and that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take my crushed filler glass. And I think I'm going to take some of my Peacock Specialty because I need to introduce it down here and a little bit up there because I have it in the middle. 
So I'm just going to add a little bit of this. And it comes out really fast. I'm going to add just a little bit in here. And then I'm going to take my Peacock Extra Fine. And I'm going to take my Silver Extra Fine. Okay, and then I'm going to take my fan brush again. Just kind of cleaning it up here. Okay, so now I want to do a narrow band of the peacock glitter across the bottom here. So this one, I think I'm just going to leave my tape on for a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to remove my tape. Okay, so I think I want a very narrow bead of the peacock along my bling wrap here. Okay, and now I'm going to use my clear crushed filler glass. Okay, and then I'm going to take my extra fine silver. I need a little bit more silver down on my bottom here. And then my peacock. And then I'm going to remove my tape right away. Okay, so now that the bottom portion of my canvas is finished, I want to start on the top and I'm going to start lightening the load, if that makes sense. I want this to be fairly heavy on the bottom because this is how I'm going to hang it, right? And I want to start gradually tapering off on the top with my bling. And I want to introduce some of the sequins up top. And I'm not bothering to measure. I'm just going to eyeball it this time. Okay, and then these are the bigger sequins.
and take the tape off. Okay, so my glue is all dry and I'm going to brush it off and I just let it sit overnight. Oh, this is so pretty, even before it's brushed off. Look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick vacuum with a soft brush and my vacuum cleaner, and then I'll bring it back. Okay, so there's a few areas that I'm going to need to do some touch-ups. Like right here, for example, I'm going to have to add a little bit more glue and some of the Peacock Extra Fine Glitter. And... This row right here, which I like the effect actually, the way it wiggled like this, um, when I go to add my bling on the sides, I'm probably going to add just a little bit more of the crushed glass and glitter. And I'm going to do this off camera. You don't need to see me doing this anymore. But what I'm going to do when I do my sides, I am going to tape it off so that I get a nice straight line on my sides as well so like for example I'm just going to do this and then the same here and then when I add my glue and my glitter I'll pull the tape off just like I did in the front and then I'll get a nice straight line on the side and I'm going to do that for all the areas that I've done in the front, okay? So once I'm done that, I will display it for you. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. My friends, this is one blinged out piece of canvas. <laughs> this, this is fantastic. Oh, and I had so much fun making it. Kind of reminded me of when I did my all of my cityscapes. And I could just pull out all of my different glitters, crushed glass, these little sequins. Bring it nice and close here. And then this is what I did with my sides. And I added two more rows. I did a row of silver and then I did a row of the specialty peacock glitter in the center here. That one row of the peacock extra fine glitter just, it wasn't cutting it for me. I like the way these sequins, um, they kind of make a wavy effect on the canvas. This would look great in any color. So pull out all of your glitters that you have in your tickle trunk. Oh, this is so, so cool. I love this. And like I said, it was just so much fun to make.
This would look really, really pretty in uh, earth tone colors. I'm gonna have to do one like that with different kind of a different design. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and it lets me know that you like this type of a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.